this week is gonna be amazing. Visually, the boat's gonna change so much. Uh, also, look at all this! Yeah. Seriously! And also, I think we'll work a lot inside as well, get, finish our job that we started last week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's never nothing to do. True. Anyway, let's get to it then. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! Hmm. So, on top of everything that's being done here now, there, we also have a new neighbor and he did get brought up on the crib however the crib is now down ready to take someone else so i wasn't here when this is done but either way this is very impressive they've managed to remove the tr the crib out from underneath this boat and moved it back over there and put this one on some stilts on some supports now i believe that they would have put a support slightly move the crib back put another support put the crib back because the crib has got like lots of ribs like lots of it's like a ladder system so i am super impressed by this that's needed right now is for the threaded bars to go through the transom plank through the stern timbers and get bolted on by putting a nut on each side that is very very awesome This estopa is put around the thread as it's being put into the wood. So these are actually just being put in temporarily to see if they fit. But this white cottony estopa actually prevents water from coming through as it creates a, the it makes the it makes the bar very tight against the wood, so there's no space for water to get in. And also when this gets wet it swells a bit and it really blocks out the water. So that cable that is still heading up the mast goes up there and was attached to the radar is now actually also getting in the way of the works because the shear plank has been placed with this wire still stuck between the frames so the only way to get rid of it is either by pulling it down which you've seen doesn't work so I'm going to go and find the other end of it somewhere 
amongst all of that. Probably up by the navigation table. And I, I'm going to pull it up. So I'd assume the first step is to just remove everything from behind here because it's bound to be one of these. It's, I'm not going to figure out which, but anyway, these can all come off and it'll give me more chance that when I pull on the cable down below, I will have the right one. Now, it seems to me that they're the same on both ends, it's this one. So, I really don't know how this is going to be done. Anyway, I can get this one pulled away from the frame and the planks problem. I'm just not sure yet how I'm going to bring it down from the mast. It's that one, remember, with like an ethernet cable on the back of it. it might be this one and I hope it is because it's actually got that little ethernet ending but it's not got this uh, where is it? it's not got all this casing around so if it is this which I'm going to try first then I don't actually need to remove all these then I can just pull that one up straight through the mast through that tube and put it down the foremast so I'm just going to see where this leads to and take that down untangle all this first there that one wire there's still the others up there but I've managed to feed it down that little hole there which actually goes down to the engine room so I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope it's the one that goes up the mast so it can be taken down very good news the wire that I started pulling through hoping it was this one is the correct one it's now up here on deck and all I have to do now is climb up to the foremast and pull it all the way through hoping that this will slip through the tube without getting stuck if it gets stuck I'm gonna have to climb up the aft the main mast and give it a little help but done so over here obviously you can see my microphone wasn't recording but I'm just telling you guys that I managed to take the cable down and it was the one that we thought I feel like I'm doing a million things, well we are at least, so they're doing planking, they're building planks, they're putting planks on. I was actually just tidying up all these wires that are down here, I'll show you. Oh, that came out of the mast and everywhere else, I don't even remember why or where. But there are a lot and they're all just getting stuck everywhere. So I've pulled them all down into the engine room. And there's three of them without any connections, so I'm just trying to pull them up here. And that is not an easy place to work in. And they are going somewhere in there. And then I'll have to figure out where. It's so hot and humid in this boat. Infinity million thousand cables in this boat. And I don't know where any of them go, hardly. So that's going to be sorted now. The idea is to not figure out where everything goes and reinstall it where it was, but to like take all the wires out, sort them by thicknesses, triple wires, double wires, and later redo the electric system how we want it and once it's redone we can well once we know where all the electric appliances go ah we can then re 
grab wise if they're still good, reuse them. And then we can read the wire electric system. So these wires, the three main ones I was taking up so far, have been for bilge pumps. If you look over here, if you look on the other side, all the switches, here you've got all the connections. However, we don't know how good these wires are and I guess we're gonna want some good, reliable pumps, hoping we won't need them too much or if anything at all. So I'm gonna disconnect these, save these, maybe use them for some other thing in the boat that's not as much of a priority as pumps and we'll get some new wiring for the bilge pumps to attach to some very reliable bilge pumps. So I have now finished inside. I'm gonna start cleaning up some of the mess in case it rains tonight, like the sawdust and all the rotten wood that's dropped down into the hole. So I'm gonna start cleaning that, but it's just to show how fast these guys can work when there is wood. So today, literally three, this plank's been put in and then another one or two down here aft. What else has been done? Over here, the second plank here at the transom has been put on already. Tomorrow morning, they're gonna start with the last one. Then all that is left is this. Two more planks have been put here. As you can see, the fresh ones over here at the top. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six planks have been put on, five or six. And there's another one being made over there in the workshop, which is crazy. So today, last week, we had no wood, or no wood arrived, none was delivered, so it was a very slow week. But today is already Tuesday, yesterday the wood actually... Yesterday the wood actually arrived, except it was raining. So today is the first day we can actually get back to work. I was inside, so I didn't do much for the planking. But let's just sit here together and appreciate the work they've did because they have already done one, two, three planks here. They've added this transom plank here for four. They've added five, six, seven here at the stern. And let's have a look. Eight, nine planks today. And they're still working. Nove tabas hoje. Nove. Hoje? Oh, but they must give 25 tabas. 25. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm super happy in the best mood because so much has been happening and the boat's looking so great. So I'm gonna show you the reason of my happiness. I hope you get happy too. So here, two more planks were put over there. And if you look here with me, we only have two planks left to shoot starboard. You see, from this line all the way and the second one all the way. And then we'll only have the gap for the shutter plank left and that will mean our whole shut at least here on starboard right and this is super 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 exciting i really can't wait i'm craving whiskey <laughs> and here also the transom is looking super pretty you see the ends of the planks have been cut and aligned with the transom already so we just need the top plank and it will be ready as well looking super super pretty and yeah those are the good vibes of the day and it just started and it's been an amazing day already
so before cutting into boards like this i think they triple quadruple check because once the cut's been made in an eight centimeter thick board there is no way of going back and these boards don't grow on trees they do but whatever to Clayton and he was explaining to me that this last blank of the transom will also be a bit tricky so the first blank of the transom I don't know if you remember but we put it on and off on and off and send it a bit and paint it a bit on off on off until it could fit perfectly then the middle one was quite simple because it was just uh, the measures of course of the side and the bottom but it didn't have a a tiny space to fit so it was easier and now this last one has to fit on the remaining so it will also be a bit of an on and off job but it's a lot bigger and a lot heavier so he's trying his best for the on and off movement to be uh, as little as possible so he's planing and planing and planing and measuring and measuring and measuring to make our lives easier in the future and we'll see how that will go So another boat's going to be lifted, I'll show you in a bit, they're busy dropping the crib in the water, it's a schooner like ours, it's got its two original masts still, they've just added a plastic mast in the back, it's done, super cool, I don't know how functional it is, or if they sail, but you'll see, quite cool. Things are getting a bit messy here. The boat's being lifted. Caio is going crazy because there is a capybara family there. You can see the mom, the daddy, and the two little babies. They're so cute. But the timing is not the best because we're a bit stressed here with all the wires and the pulley. Yeah, now they're leaving. Stay safe, fellas. Caio is there saying hi. Oh, they are so cute! Seriously. 
So this is the pirate ship that just arrived next to us. What do you think? It's a pirate. It even has a pirate up on the deck by the foremast. I think if they decided to sail the world, they'll have some trouble with customs. The third and last piece of our transom is here and now they're discussing where we could tie it to make it easier to lift it because it's really really heavy. Ben is up there, I don't know if you can see him. This plank is being lifted. It's got a, sh uh, a sheet tied on both sides of the plank and it's just being held up by the winches for now. So if it has to be lowered, it gets lowered. It has to stay there, which it. Oh, there we go. There's someone over there. Hey, P. Oh, wow. What a mission. Maybe we found out now how the pyramids were built. I don't think they had sail winches though. This is crazy. Come on, you can do this. I mentioned the pyramids and it was a joke but now honestly I think wedges had a lot to do with it because they are the most useful thing ever What do you like the most about the boat? And what do you like the least about the boat? What? <laughs> it was a joke. This week something unimaginable happened. What was it? We reached 50,000 subscribers in our channel! I never thought this channel would become anything like this. We never made, thought it this! It was made for friends and family in Europe and in Argentina but it turned out to be this and we're so grateful for everything we that really you guys have done. We really cannot believe it. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed, who comments, who likes, who supports us in every way. We are beyond thankful. We are over the moon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
so scary. <laughs> this week, something unimaginable. Yeah, unimaginable. Unimaginable? <clears throat> this week, something in it. I cannot say. <laughs> Come on, one more time. Unimaginable? Unimaginable. <laughs> This week, something... <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah? You're crazy. Unimaginable. Unimaginable. Unimaginable! <laughs> Say the sentence again now. The whole one. This week, something unimaginable happened. We reached 50k subscribers! <laughs>